everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to another episode of The Game Cage. And today, we're playing one of the few puzzle games that I enjoy just as much as I enjoy Tetris. We're playing Rampart for the NES. This game's also available on the Super Nintendo, but seeing as how this is the version that I actually own, we're playing this one. And you'll see the similarities to Tetris fairly shortly. This game, best enjoyed with two people, but it's a pretty solid one-player game. So, first things first, it's got this medieval setting to it. You're gonna choose your battlefield. I'm gonna go with beginner level, because honestly I'm not as great at this game as I should be. From there, you choose where you want to put your castle. I always put it in the middle, because then I have time to build up my walls and maybe gain other forts. Uh, that will make more sense after this first round of attacks. You're always defending, by the way. You're never attacking in this game. So we put down our three cannons. Uh, you get a different number of cannons depending on how much ground I think you have after each round. I believe that's true at least. And then the round starts with a number of ships in the water firing at you, trying to bring down your defenses, and you firing right back at them, trying to blow them to smithereens. And then after that you go to a build and repair mode, where you can actually see how much of your wall has been destroyed. And here comes the Tetris part. So after each round you have, they'll just give you a random block, oh that was a good screw up right there. And you have to have it um, filled in with black there, so to know that it's completely filled in. Because if this round ends and you don't have a fort properly fortified, the game is over. That is pretty much how the game ends. So you want to get as much as land as you can. The more forts, the better. You need at least one fort um, and as much land as you can. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get this part. Oh, this is... can I? Yes! Okay, good. Because now I'll have more room to put my cannons. And that's another problem is that they'll keep on giving you cannons, but sometimes you won't have room to place them, which will make you uh, underpowered, which could be really tough to keep going through the levels. This game is really difficult, much more difficult than uh, like your standard Tetris. It really gets you right off the bat with going in the difficulty. But, alright, let's prepare for round two. Fire the cannons! Yes! And the trick is just to place your cursor where the boat is going to be, not where the boat is. So, sometimes it's easier said than done, um, but also the cursor can be your biggest enemy in this game as well, because it kind of goes, just like those kids in, in Guts, it goes from moving very slowly, pixel by pixel, to a completely just running off and run one direction really fast. So you've got to keep that in mind to kind of tap the D-pad rather than hold your hand down on it. Um, you know, the buttons are really simple, just B spins the pieces around, A places them, I think that's got to be what it is for Tetris, right? It's been a while since I played Tetris on the NES, man. But anyhow, boom, got one more fort. Um, like I said, forts, they are fairly important, but more important is just gaining as much land as you can, so keep that in mind, and, nope, oh, we're out of time. Alright, well, there we go, 300 points, you can just skip through however many points you get, I mean, Come on. Points haven't mattered since the days of Atari. Let's be honest here. Unless you're playing Donkey Kong. I do love a good Donkey Kong. And as you can see here, we have more land that we've gathered so we can place down four cannons rather than three. And this should get us ready for the last volley of the round, I believe. As Alta Guide might say. Uh, fire your cannons! Um, if there are any ships left in the water after a round, there is actually a time limit on these rounds, even though it doesn't show you. Uh, don't worry about it, because those ships will carry over, which is obviously a bad thing, but um, it won't cause you to lose the game automatically, at least. And then I believe they just do this last round for points, because I'm pretty sure it's, what, three, three rounds apiece? It might get more difficult. I, I even play, honestly, I don't get through very many rounds in this game. It's tough, but it, it's a good challenge. Let's see if we can make another little space over here with what they give me. I, I don't think this is going to work. Oh, wait, there are more boats. Okay, okay, we do have one more round. All right, then. Um, oh, jeez, see? Ugh. It's either the cursor or the pieces that are going to screw you over. And don't try to do like I did just there and make a tiny little area of, uh, like, a fortified area, because it's really pointless. It'll give you some more points, but, um... Oh, I guess we won that. Alright. Cool. Um, as I was saying, it'll give you more points, but there's no chance that you can place a cannon there. And as far as I'm concerned, that makes it kind of useless. So let's see, where do I want to go next? Uh, let's see, I normally go in the top right, but I've never been over here before. So let's see what we got. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go in the middle. I kind of want to go in the bottom left. I'm thinking it might be better. It's got looks like it's got more room. Probably start me with wider borders. But alright, we'll just stick to, uh, stick to the good old strategy here. 
Alright, pretty good setup. They always set you up so you have enough room to place three cannons in the beginning, regardless of what position you choose. So that's something to keep in mind if you're a little bit worried about the position. But I don't know. I don't know if I like this with this whole whole alcove right here. And as you progress in the difficulty, the ships are going to start moving faster, which is a real kind of... It really does make things a bit tougher. Sometimes there will be a ship out there that's seriously moving ridiculously fast all over the place, and it's just like... It's kind of like a bait ship. You're meant to like just go after it, even though there's no way you can properly target it. And oh man, oh did they demolish us that turn? Yeah, that's they don't mess around. They have like one level of beginner difficulty, and then it's like, all right, well now that you understand the game, we're gonna kick your ass. Enjoy yourself. Oh man, I'm not even gonna. Oh, this isn't gonna work out, is it? Come on. Okay, I got lots of time. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, this could be. No, no, it's not gonna fit. Ugh. Mm, damn, cannons. All right, gotta put it there. Oh, come on, that's the most obscure piece ever. Why would you give me something like that? Oh, okay, we can use that, we can use that. Alright, uh, I need a one, or that, yes, go, go. No, what am I doing? Oh, gotta put it in the spot, yes. Oh, wait, we don't have that one by the water. Oh, crap. Oh. Alright, well, unfortunately, that's automatic game over right there. Blue Army defeated. But anyhow, guys, I figured I'd just show all that off to you. It's a little bit of rampart. Sounds like my neighbors are coming home. Delightful end to a video, right? Anyhow, guys, that's going to be all for me. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have not. This has been the Johnny Cage, and I will talk to all of you guys tomorrow.